What is up guys, Rex here with a new video and today we have the Flora Bell release and you can see her in the background, we got her upgraded to Supreme Plus during my recent live stream. By the way, quite huge, 1700 people in there at peak, quite insane. We had a vivid discussion about this hero because she is a bit difficult. There is the question of course in the room, should you summon for her and if you see the background uh, gameplay that looks very fancy. I think it looks great with the Coco shields, uh, great synergy between Coco and her and we got big damage there. So I mean kinda indicates that you might want to go for that, let's try another stage and it is still a difficult one. And my final opinion on this uh, might surprise you given the damage here. So first of all what does she do? She basically summons three different minions. One at the start which has a little uh, spear, a little pokey stick in the hand and uh, that one is basically melee damage dealer. Then she has an ability that summons uh, an archer and then we have the one that you can just see here with the big flower petal um, that is trying to nuke enemies with it and this one is her ult. All of those three minions stay on the battlefield. If she casts her ult again while the ult minion is already on the battlefield, she does extra damage. And the fancy thing about her is she can buff minions. Usually she only buffs her own minions. But uh, if you have her weapon, which is unlocked at Mythic Plus, uh, on plus 10, then she can also buff other minions. We tried that out with Cessia. She buffs the Cessia minion. It was decent. It wasn't too insane. We tried it with Byron. Buffs the uh, Falcon as well. Pretty, pretty good. And um, then we tried multiple teams and what we ended up with was really this. Uh, we had a frontline tank, which we tried uh, first with Kruger. That works. She does physical damage, so that is very nice. Um, Brutus, on the other hand, is a very cheap option. And that is what I wanted to try, because when he dies, he gets immortal. So he gives her an ample amount of time to get the energy for her ult, cast her ult. And Coco, same thing, get her ult going. You have the synergy there because you have basically three Mauler heroes in there. So you have the faction bonus and we have Damien for a haste bonus to get uh, her ult a bit quicker. Because you really want to get to her ult before that. She feels a bit weak, she feels a bit vulnerable and uh, that is really not what you want. So that is basically the first stage here. You can see the Damien uh, minion also has a shield. This minion has a shield that is also her effect of course. And um, when she is destroyed, well, basically your whole team falls together. We might have a situation like that there. No, she is still tanking because of the Coco shield. And that is the big ult. That is the one that I was talking about when she cast her ult. When, while the ult minion is still on the battlefield, uh, then you get this very big effect that we also saw in the trailer, by the way. The trailer showed us this big ult. And I was surprised by that because I thought, well, that is an insanely big ult. But the uh, condition of her uh, actually triggering two ults, that is quite high. That is quite high. That is not that easy. And um, basically makes the whole situation with her a little bit difficult. So looking at her skills now, one thing to note that we found out that we saw, uh, her weapon at the moment seems to be a bit bugged. So because the plus five effect, um, boost the shield that you get from this, which is very nice. It's a great effect. You will want the weapon um, to 330% attack. And the plus 15 uh, thing does the same. So we have boost the shield granted by the skill to 330% of Laura Bell's attack. So actually there is no difference at the moment. I assume they are later going to release a patch that is going to fix that. But yeah, so the plus 10 effect, however, very, very interesting. Feeds the allied sum with the highest attack with an unripe petal plume. Uh, when Flora Bell casts Overgrowth and this transforms the summon into a giant, which has another advantage we are going to see in a second, increasing their haste by 27, which also increases the damage because we have a higher attack speed and life drain, so they heal. Very, very nice. Both of which. Um, the nice thing with the petal is also not only that we get buffs, but also with the Enhanced Force, we come into the giant form of this minion and that makes the minion immune to control effects with this. Great. Very, very great. Nice ability, great synergy with summoning type heroes. Now to the problem, we don't have that many. We don't have that many. She really wants other summoning type heroes and you would really want a summoning type hero that is great. And we saw some videos in advance pointing to Cessia in our testing in Dream Realm, for example. Yeah, she buffed Cessia's damage. 
she herself did more damage than Cecia though, so that makes it all a little bit difficult. She at the moment feels a bit like she lacks other heroes that, that synergize well with her. Um, you can build a team like the one that I just showed that works decently well. I mean, we are around stage uh, 1064, so I mean, that kind of means a little bit at least. Um, shows us that we can do some good damage even with a weapon at just plus five. Uh, so it is it is a pretty interesting skill. I like her. And still, my opinion on the rate up is if you are free to play, I don't recommend you to summon for her. Because if you just get a one copy of her, she will be bad because she just won't have uh, the stats to support the minions, to give the minions big stats to actually deal some damage. Um, then we have, like, if you spend a little bit, get some copies. Well, if you don't really get to Mythic Plus, in my opinion, well, then you still lack some abilities. The last ability on Supreme Plus is actually very nice if you synergize with that. And if you are going towards late game, I still wouldn't recommend summoning for her. Not because she's bad, she does great damage. Uh, we saw these stages that we fought with it. Those were pretty nice. But if you take a look and you go for epic recruitments or Oreo recruitments instead, you have the pool there. You can go now for Vala as well if you want that. But there are nice heroes like Carolina in there. We have the Carolina Iron Comp, which I usually use. That does huge damage in both PvP and PvE. And in my opinion, that is just preferable over going for the rate up here. For the last rate up, I went for Vala and was pretty happy with that because she carried me through the early game. But realistically, from the railing, every single hero would have done that. And I was surprised to see Iron, Carolina, all of those worked well. We also tried her in other game modes. We tried her in Dream Realm. We had some decent results that, uh, with that. If you want to see her, by the way, at Paragon 2, check out my last live stream. We uh, fought Dream Realm. Um, with a Paragon 2 um, Flora, Flora Bell, not Flora, okay, um, and that, that would work quite nice. It wasn't super impressive compared to something like Mary Lee, but it worked out quite nice. We also went into the arena, did some fights there, tried some different teams, and um, she did decently well. We tried her instead of Thorin, and she just... Well, she lacked a little bit the time to really perform well. And you see heroes like Iron going in there, and I can show you the fight. Iron immediately starting off with the old. We have the Carolina synergy, the Arden synergy, and she's just somewhere in between summoned one minion that did a little bit of damage, tries to get her old energy together, while we already cleared most of the enemy team. And as soon as you see the minion, doing her ult, which she in this case didn't even manage to, uh, well, the fight is over, really. Or you have something like Igor there, which won't be hit by the ult, so really that didn't change anything. So right now she feels like a super specific hero that, that can be used, that can be good, um, but is just lacking other heroes that you would want her uh, to have with her in team. Maybe we'll see more aggressive heroes for PvP that summon minions. Something like an, an, a minion iron. Somebody that, that summons immediately like two, three minions, send them to the other side. Uh, you have your Flora Bell there. She buffs the minions. She get, puts them in her giant form and they smash the other hero, destroy them. Would be cool. Right now we don't have that. So I don't really see the advantage of going for her over going for something like Carolina or Iron. If you have all those heroes, I personally don't regret summoning for her. I feel like my account is in a state where I have most of the heroes that I want, like the remaining heroes. I mean, some of them would be cool. Granny, for example, would be nice, but I'm not really, it's not really necessary for me for the moment. So I'm very happy with Flora Bell. I like this team that we came up with. I like to put her in there, try to clear some FK stages with that. And, uh, I think this whole Coco team that we saw is just very, very fancy. Like this that we see there. If you get to the point where you get the Coco ulti and uh, give all of those minions the Coco shield as well and overwhelm the enemy with that, get the ult going, maybe get the second ult even better. But those little minions, you can see, they just rush there, uh, start stabbing Thorin there. It's just great. So th and th at that point, I really like her. Um, she's just not a necessity, I think. So, yeah, that's my final opinion. My, uh, If your account doesn't really look like mine, you have, don't feel like you have all of the important heroes, maybe go for the other ones first. So, that is my opinion on her for now. I will do more testing, I will do more reviews, 
Um, we tested a lot in the last live stream, which you should check out. We did a lot of Paragon stuff there as well. Um, but for now, this is the opinion. And later, we're going to make a full review with an update and everything like that. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Always makes me happy to see that number grow. And with that, I wish you a great day. We'll see us in the next one.